And it's a pretty simple little thing here. We're talking about uh, the sum of angles, sum of the angles, not S-O-M-E, but S-U-M, sum when you add them up, of triangles and quadrilaterals. And it's a pretty simple little concept here. And that would be this. First of all, with triangles, if you add all the angles of a triangle together on the inside, triangles, the angles <coughs> inside have to add up to Big drum roll is 180 degrees. That's why never, ever, ever, when you have a triangle, can you make a triangle that has two 90 degree angles in it. Impossible. Impossible. You can have one 90 degree angle. That's a right triangle. Okay, but if you know that this other angle here is 30 degrees, you can always figure out the third angle because you know that the total is 180 degrees if you add all three together. 90 and 30 gives you 120 degrees of those. The third angle would have to be 60 degrees. That's a very important fact because it comes up almost daily in math. Right? Now, since you know that, Carter Westfall, you can probably figure out how many degrees are in any quadrilateral. Well, you already know this one, because if you have a rectangle, what do you know about a rectangle? It has four right angles. And if you have four right angles, how many degrees would that be? Okay, Abram? 360. Yep. Every quadrilateral has 360 <laughs> degrees in it. Every quadrilateral has 360 degrees. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, if you're a, a person that needs to leave, go ahead and leave. Otherwise, look at page 510 with me, please. So I can sit up. Seriously? Is there going to be a Write this down in your notes, please. You've got this little shape. If you're looking at page 510, this is the shape that they give you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And then A, B, C, and D. If you have that quadrilateral there, Obviously, the first thing you do is sketch it out because we got to write this, this. It says, letter A says, what is the sum of measure of angle 1 and angle 2 and angle 3? Letter A, what is the sum of angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3? You add 1, 2, and 3 together. That's a triangle, so we know that those angles have to add up to... 180 degrees. Letter B asks for the sum of angle measures of angle 4, 5, and 6. Angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6. Again, that adds up to another triangle, which is 180 degrees. And then it says, what is the sum of the measures of the four interior angles of the quadrilateral? Well, here's the quadrilateral. The interior angles would be this, and this, and this, and this. Well, that has to equal the sum of both, adding up both of those triangles, so number letter C has to be 
360 degrees because both triangles add up to 180 degrees. And then letter D, what is the measure of angle P? Oh, that's a whole different problem. How big is angle P and angle and triangle PQR? And guess what you'd have to do for that one? Draw triangle PQR. PRQ. PRQ 75 and 30 degrees. This is 75 degrees. This is 30 degrees. What is angle P have to add up to? Well, this is 75 and that's 30. Right now I have 105 degrees of my 180 degree triangle. What does angle P have to be? Let's do the subtracting there. Ready? 75. And then letter E says, what is the measure of each interior angle of a regular quadrilateral? Anybody, what's a regular quadrilateral? Square. No. Anybody yes. you know about what's every angle of a square? That is absolutely splendid. 